Hello everyone, and welcome back to Zilanka, the premium edition map for Farm Simulator 22. We are in January, I did skip on a bit, we do have a uh, wheat to sell. We also have the parsnips to harvest, The our parsnip field is ready to rock. So this is going to be done, we're going to have to lease the harvester again. And our canola field is looking fresh, it's a very frosty winter January morning. But yeah, we will start off by selling the wheat because we'll probably need extra money for to rent the harvester. And we could probably get something sowed in our two new fields, 76 and 72, that we have joined together in the previous episode. Field 54 is now empty. They have harvested it, whoever owned it. So there is nothing in it. So we have to keep an eye and see what is sown in 54, 51 and 50. Uh, these two still have to be harvested. But once they are and we see what's re sown into them, we will have to purchase because I want to join these two together and I want to join these two together. So I'll have to keep an eye on that. But for this episode, we will probably be harvesting the parsnips and also drilling whatever we decide to put in our two new fields. So yeah, without further ado, let's get into Massey and load up the trailer with the wheat and get sold. And like I always say guys, if you like Farming Simulator content, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I have lots of videos on my channel, and lots to come. So, if you have anything in particular you want to see me do, any maps to play, mods to use, any particular style you want me to play, let me know in the comments. I'm fairly open-minded about that kind of stuff, so... Uh, yeah, don't be afraid to leave a comment, and don't forget to hit the like button. It really helps me out. So, yeah, we have a good bit of wheat. I'm glad we have a big trailer. We have 18,000 litres. Just throw the cover back over that. Uh, I think it is the train we're going to. It usually is. Yet yeah, 1,300 to the train. So we will go. And we will head off to the train. Just coming to the train station now. I did skip to it because it drove by me when I was on the road. So I just stopped it. Because I didn't want it to go through the, the end of the map and take forever then to come. So, I have changed the tip side to the left side, just for a bit of fun. Instead of it coming out the back. I just want to see it all pour out the side. Just for a little change. Yeah, there we go. Nice. That's surely a faster unload rate. I'd like to actually test it and see. Well, obviously there's two there's obviously twice more than twice i mean you just have this little narrow door but you have these two big doors so i'm wondering if you had a full trailer two of them full and you tipped one through the back and one through the sides i wonder it surely would be a different unload, unload rate i know it would be in real life but i wonder is it that realistic in the game that it unloads faster anywho let's get in the train and load it up just have to bring it back a little it's gone a little too far. Um, well, we can just put it in that second container then. We don't have to go back as far. Go. Start. 18,000 litres is what we need. Yep. Close that cover. And uh, let's go. See you guys just when we get kicked out of the train and get all of our money. About to get kicked out. 24,242. Nice. Bring us up to 41,000. Come back in our tractor. And we'll get this brought back to the farmyard. I will get a worker to do it. So, if I do that, create a job. And we want him to go to. You get to pull into the driveway there like that. Bush. Yep, he should stay going then. So, I'm stuck. We need the parsnip harvester. Vegetable technology. So we need to lease this again. 32,000. Wow, that's expensive. Oh, we've skipped some time. We have soup to sell. I forgot all about it. 
Good map, is it that? Oh, this is the wrong map. <laughs> That's why. Now we can visit. We surely have a lot of soup to sell. Wow, yeah. We still have 60,000, almost 60,000 litres of soup. And then we have one more pallet to spawn after these eight. So, yeah, we will get the parsnips harvested. The parsnips will be coming here and we'll be, we'll be turning on the parsnip soup. So, without further ado, we need to get this underway. Where way is he going? Oh, wow, we came across a little short road. I didn't know that was there. I would have just went down to the main junction and turned, but... Anywho. The only thing about this is you need to stay with it all the time. So we can't go and do another job. Fortunately. Um, because... We ha... What the hell? Why'd you stop? Oh. Yeah, we can't go and do another job. Because... You have to stay constantly beside it, so it's... A bit unfortunate, but... We'll get it unfolded and ready to go. And we'll get the Massey underway to pull up beside it. We do need to kind of get some sort of forklift. Because... I'd like to be able to load the pallets. Properly. I don't want to use... Uh, Super strength too much. I know we will lose it quite a lot because it's just pallets. They're not overly great using this game. But, right, anyway. Get this set up. But I do have the speed of the, har oh, speed of the harvest to turn up a little. Why did he stop? Fuck my object. What do you mean? Back underway. I don't know what happened there. I kept saying it was going to hit an object, but I don't know. Maybe I was too close. But yeah, I was as I was saying, I do have the speed of the harvester up a bit. It says eight kilometers an hour, but I just feel that take forever. So I have it set at thirteen. Doesn't seem to be too unrealistic. And it's not overly faster. But yeah, we will get a couple of trips of this done because we do obviously have to go to the soup factory, which is a bit further away now. Um, we did have the soup factory where our shed was. If anyone didn't see the earlier episodes, because I didn't re I didn't actually realize there was one on the map. I should have, but yeah. So we just swapped it out and put a shed there instead. So yeah, we've ordered the cart. So um, yeah, it's going to take a bit longer to harvest this field. So that's why I wanted the speed turned up a little. But I'll get the time lapse started. We'll do as much of this field as we possibly can in a time lapse. I'll do what I can do and maybe do two or three loads to the soup factory. Activate it, obviously. And maybe then we'll give it a break and I'll go and start drilling something into the ground over in our two other fields, I was saying. And then we could get a worker to finish that and then we'll come back and finish this then. So we'll see how things go.
apologies Cause cats don't really care What you think, what you think, what you think And we're here with the second load. Now, I was just looking in this, there's nothing really of interest to us. Bailers, yeah, but not really into bailing in this series. So, forklifts is what I was kind of looking. I just want to get a rough price on them. I kind of want something that's going to be on able to go up and down the road. Ideally, that does 25k. 20, 43. Holy crap, that's a fast little thing. Holy God. Something like that would be ideal. Yeah, I'd like to use something like that. 29,000. Um, like them tires. Um, oh, it has a hitch. Wow. Amazing. That's quite handy, actually. Um, safety warning layout with... Without. I'm missing something on this. Uh, is it a beacon I'm missing? Oh, the little 51 light up here, yeah. Okay. Change the colour then, whatever, yeah. Would that be a nice thing for about 30,000? I think we definitely should purchase something like that. Very soon, because I kind of want to do it before we have too much pallets, because I'll probably end up getting an auto-loading pallet trailer. When we're just dealing with pallets everywhere, up to our eyeballs. Because we're going to be doing olives, we're going to be doing grapes. We might even do some cotton. I know they're not pallets, but we're going to be doing some cotton. Um, we're going to do normal beet. We're going to do potatoes. And then we're going to do red beet, uh, carrots and parsnips. Obviously, we've already done carrots and parsnips, but yeah. All that kind of stuff. I probably won't do sugar cane. I'll do sugar beet instead. So yeah, just stuff like that. So it was just kind of what I wanted. I know we could probably get a telehandler with whatever, but... I think just the forklift to be something that we don't use all the time. And we might get a chance to use it again. So, I will set this guy off on a worker to drive back to the yard. We will get the drill and get the Fiat over and start to drill whatever we're going to drill in that field. Probably soybeans, beans maybe. Something like that. So, let me just get this guy back on the road to set the destination and yeah he could pull in somewhere near i believe he could do that yes i have turned this off and cancel the workers so it's not costing us money so the fiat so we'll get the drill on i'm not sure if we've any seed in it but there is a bag of seed over in our porch which we could actually move out of there now and put under here which is what i will do so i just turn on super strength a minute fertilizer which is almost full like i can go here now like because it's under the roof and it's not in our porch in our house so let me just fill that up it'll probably actually take the whole lot of it so at least the fertilizer is in outer rain and I just realized our parsnip field was only fertilized one stage. You can see it there. I thought it was twice. 
we're going to probably have to do that, which, again, I don't know if we'll be able because we have no fertilizer spreader. So we need money. This is the struggles of starting out. Um, just let me change that to soybeans. When you get down, the field we're going to already has one stage of fertilizer, as I did install the chopped straw mod. So basically, when we were chopping the straw on the oats that come over, it gave a first stage of fertilizer on the ground. But all we have to do is... What's he blocked by? My car, wow. Um, okay. I'll get him in. We're done with the trailer for the minute. This is where I like to leave the trailer. I'll probably tar all this where I'm driving now. So it's not grass. But I like to leave the trailer there because I don't like backing a trailer with a dolly. So I feel there is a good spot for it. Obviously the tractor, not on it because then it's not blocking the door. But Anywho, I'll go get this field started drilling. I'll do a little bit myself. And then we're going to sell our carrot soup and any parsnip soup we have there as well. With our pickup truck and trailer. And get an income and yeah. Could do it, new tractor. I'm thinking of selling the Zetter. Um, I kind of want to get something around the 200 horsepower mark because this is 160, the Massey's 155. So if we had something around the 200, I think it wouldn't be going too far. Well, I mean, I don't know if we'd have the price to do that yet, the money. But that's what I'm aiming for is around the 200 mark would be our next tractor simply because I know this has five more horsepower than the Massey, but the Massey was struggling to pull the trailer when it's full so that's why i kind of wanted to get it i just want to make sure this doesn't destroy soybeans okay yeah okay ducks so i'll just do this I'll set a worker off on that but he can do it there and then i'll stop at the end So like I was saying, something like that would be a good tractor to get, 200 horsepower. If you have any brands in choice that you'd like to see that I haven't used yet, let me know a brand or pick your tractor you'd like to see me buy. Around the 200 horsepower, if you can, would be ideal. And yeah, that's we we'll get that tractor as soon as we have the money. So I'll crack on at this. I won't chat too much. And then we will finish off by... We will finish off by selling our soups that we have stocked up. And... Yeah, we can... Finish the parsnips off in the next episode. Which will be the same in-game day, so not to worry. But anyway, like I said, I'll crack on. Get the soybeans in the ground. And hopefully out of money from the soup we can buy a fertilizer spreader, a fertilizer canola and fertilize this. And have the maximum yield we can possibly get fertilizing. Anywho, let's get this big long field done. Now that's two fields joined into one.
Hey, I have a worker setting off there on that. Finish this field off, it probably wouldn't take him too long. This is what we need at the minute. And I am probably going to take a loan out and use the forklift. I wonder where the forklift fit in the trailer. I'm going to take a quick loan because as soon as we sell the soups, we should be pretty fine. So we need about 30,000. We'll go one more just to be sure. As long as we sell the soup, we'll have like 100,000. So it won't make a difference. We'll be able to pay it straight back. So we'll buy this lizard. Like I said, we'll... Probably put the hitch on for the sake of 200 quid. Um, I like these tires better. Safety warning. Ah, why not? We'll stick it on. Colour wise, then. Is there green? Eh, I don't know if I like that. I could just go black. Ah, we'll keep it to yellow, maybe. Design colour, then we can change it to. Oh, that's the front, yeah. That can just go black. Wrong colour. A wrong piece. That can stay yellow. We put that black. And the rims then. Can go white. Yep. Yeah. I think that's a fine looking forklift. 72 horsepower. Which is crazy. For the little size of it. Huh. It's a little diesel one. It's not electric. You see the exhaust sticking out the back there. So. Yeah we will buy it. 29,570. Like I said once we make. Our money back from the soups, we will pay back the loan immediately. So it's just a very, very short-term loan. That should fit in my trailer. I will try and get it loaded up. We have it in. Oh, this forklift is still on. Turn off. The forks are let up because otherwise it's just going to catch the back of the truck. But I don't have a beacon on the... We'll throw the beacon on this on the trailer. But it fits. So it can live down at the. Uh, I don't this one. It can live down at the store or at the soup factory for now. We're not going to need it anywhere else. So we're just here. Very short spin actually. So I will park the truck here. Ah! And load. I just realized how high this goes. That's a pretty insane fork. And we can do two pallets at once. This was a good buy. Right. Let's get going. I probably up should go this way, although the faulty it should. Um actually yeah, we need to unload or we need to load the van first. Okay, so they won't fit the way I was thinking, so we'll just have to load them this way. I thought it would have fit side by side. But they don't. So, we'll just have to load them like this. Oh, that's not the way I wanted to do it. That's the way I did want to do it, but they don't fit. So, yeah, this will just have to do. So, yeah, let me get a time lapse going. Filling up these. And I'll see you guys when we're done and sold everything.
Okay, I've all uh, the pallets on. The truck is empty. We'll get in. We'll strap it down and head on. And hopefully none will fly off this time like they did into the river. But we'll be going the other way. As there's no bridge the other side. So if we do lose anyway, we should be able to just pick them up and throw them into the trigger. Uh, whoa, hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. We need to strap. Yeah. I think that did work. Yeah, I see straps. Yep. Okay, so this should be safe enough. 22,000 litres of carrot soup. Let's see how much we get. Okay. Kicked out. Pallets, please don't go flying. Well, they did a little, but they all sold. 79,000. So, like I said, immediately we're paying off the loan for the forklifts. We're still left with 58,000, which is not bad. Uh, oh yeah, that worker is still in the field. So, yeah, I'll get this brought back to the yard and finish up. Okay, we're back at the yard. I, I'm going to end the episode here. Uh, we did do a lot. I have the work come back in a van. In the van. So... We got some of the parsnips sorted, which is fantastic. And um, we got the field drilled over there with soybeans, which is brilliant. We do need to now buy a fertilizer spreader in the next episode. Fertilize our canola and fertilize our soybeans that we've sowed because we need to double application. And as for this field, I will be putting a red beet in because it's the one, only one we haven't done yet from the expansion. We have done the carrots first. These are parsnips, obviously. And the next thing in this field will be the uh, red, red beet. So, yeah, without further ado, I'm going to end the episode. Thanks everyone so much for watching. I hope you really enjoyed the episode. And I will catch you guys in the next episode of Zilanka. Thank you and goodbye.